Yo, it's Go, and welcome to the video. This is the fourth boss in Sunwell, the Eridar Twins. It's a two-phase fight. Took us two minutes, 48 seconds to down them uh, week two. So hopefully we can improve that speed in the upcoming weeks, and I can switch from using mana pots to Destro pots once we get down to that uh, 215 total fight time, two-minute fight time, since we do have a small transition phase jumping down to regen a slight amount of mana. So I get the conflag here, I'll go over that at the end of the video with a different attempt to compare to. But on this attempt, I didn't do a couple of things and I was too worried about my stacks up here. I got up to 11 stacks and I didn't realize that they just got dropped by a Shadow Nova. So I hopped down. Then I'm landing my healers because I'm running back up and I have the other fire debuff just taking damage. So I healed myself. It was just an awful attempt for me dps was but hopefully for this entire phase one right here you're able to just stand there and pump you know, use your cooldowns both of your trinkets if you have two unused trinkets during your heroism or bloodlust and do as much dps to get lady sacralash down as you can because it is a bit of a risky fight to use runes me personally my mana has been an issue on a lot of fights where I'm actually able to use my mana but again hopefully in a couple of weeks i'll feel more comfortable and be able to rune and destro pot instead of lock rock and mana pot but once you jump down to phase two you really just do your normal rotation nothing crazy about phase two everything important is going to be in phase one so at this point in the fight everything should be on cooldown your trinkets should be on cooldown both of mine are hard you know, your, your potion should be on cooldown, your rune should be on cooldown, and you collect your loot. So if we do get targeted for a conflag, you know, your parse is just out the window. You're not going to be able to recover from all of that downtime. And for that fight, I took almost 16,000 damage from conflag. And since it was the first attempt of the night, my brain hadn't turned on yet. So there's two things if you get targeted for a conflag that are going to help you live that I didn't do in that attempt. One is to bark skin which I got the bark skin off there as I was running away. And it's important to note, you have to pre-pop your bark skin. You can't use bark skin after you've already taken the flag. And then the other is to go bear form. I tried to bear form here. I was just like a millisecond slow. So I just popped out form instead. But if you go bear form, your health pool will be higher. And if you bark skin, you'll take a lot less damage. How much less damage do you ask? Well, on an attempt that I did get the conflag and got the bark skin off, I only took just over 13,000 damage. So a little over 2,500 damage less than not using the bark skin. And if we go bear form, we might be close to that 13k range to where even if we don't get a heal and we started off with full health, that we might be able to live. So that's it for the twins. It all boils down to two tank and spank phases, and the length of the fight is going to be a huge factor on if you're able to use that Destro Pot and do some DPS. So thanks for watching and on to Muru. Come on. Go, go, go. Every fucking cooldown you got.